which figures below can have a triangle as a two-dimensional cross-section? Okay, so a cone looks like this. And if we were to draw a cross-section, what we'll end up with is something that looks like this. I've said this many times, and I'll say it again. It actually helps a lot if you have a liking for art when you're studying math, just because it helps you with visualization, uh, it helps you with problem solving, definitely helps in geometry, um, and also helps in, in algebra as well. Okay, so the cross section of a cone, okay, is definitely going to be a triangle. Let's take a look at another one. Um, a cylinder. So uh, here we can have a cross section that looks like this and you can see that we will form as a result a rectangle out of this. This is going to be end up looking like a rectangle. Okay. Um, and what about a cube? So a cube gets a little interesting. So a cube is supposed to be the same length on all edges. So, yes, I can certainly, you know, draw a, a cross-section right perpendicular um, across the edges, but there's an, another way that I can draw this, the cross-section, and this may be a little odd at first. The cross-section that I draw can actually go right down the diagonal here. I'll draw it like this. If I cut through the, the cube in this manner, I hope that you guys are able to visualize this with me. We'll have a triangle inside here. Right? So this, even though we're dealing with something that's, you know, very, um, very boxy, right? The end result is, yeah, we'll definitely have a, a triangle. And I hope you're questioning whether or not are there other ways that we can, you know, get a uh, cross section out of the uh, the cylinder. Absolutely, right. And if you were to redraw this, right, we can, you know, certainly try to do that. You know, to think about this, we can certainly draw a um, uh, the cross section. You know, if we draw the cross section, let's say, at an angle like this, right, what will become of that? Well, what will happen is, if we draw a cross section like this, we'll end up with, you know, this like uh, weird, like oval type shape, okay? And if we, um, you know, draw this, just slightly differently, right, going across, whoops, going from one diagonal or one edge of the circle to the other, right, and I'm trying this to my best abilities to draw this, you can then form this giant ovally looking thing. I hope you can visualize this with me right? You'll end up with that looking, that overly looking thing right there. Okay, which is going to be on that plane, on that cross section. Again, this is going to be that as well. So we don't end up with a triangle on a cylinder. 
Okay. All right. Uh, what about a square pyramid? When they say square pyramid, what they mean by that is a square base pyramid. And I hope that this would be a little more obvious. Um, just because you see triangles happening there. I'd say the trickiest thing um, in this question is the, uh, is the cube. But you can draw a cross-section like so. And what you will form is a triangle that looks like this inside. So that's the cross section there. Okay? So to answer this question, to, to better answer this question now, right? Uh, which figures below can have a triangle as a two-dimensional cross-section? So looking at this, it's going to be the cube, the cone, and the pyramid. Do, do they have such an option there? So it's one, three, and four. That would be option four there. Okay.